like many of you, I love carrying a revolver. I don't think revolvers are outdated as well. Having a solid 357 Magnum in your pocket, it, you do just fine with that as a self-defense weapon. And I believe, especially in today's world, there's so many more modern revolvers. Uh, clearly, there's a huge market for revolvers. So I wanna take a look specifically at concealed carry revolvers. Uh, those are, to me, the most valuable revolvers. A concealed carry weapon is my all time favorite kind of gun. That's why I got into guns, because I wanted to start carrying them. And a revolver is a great choice. So I wanna take a look at the top 10 best concealed carry revolvers. Now I will say before I get going on this list, this list is in no particular order. As well as I'd like to add that uh, most of them are going to be in a 357 Magnum range, uh, although there are a few exceptions here. Number one, Smith & Wesson 686. Most would argue Smith & Wesson 686 is one of the greatest revolvers ever made. And having it in a 357, I definitely recommend it with the two and a half inch barrel if you're going to carry it. I also know that the 686 has different styles of grips. Definitely get that smaller grip for carry as well. I also recommend, especially with any of these 357 Magnums in the smaller frames, uh, which is not the 686, but I got some smaller frame ones that you uh, practice in 38 Special. Number two, the Ruger LCR. Now the Ruger LCR, I recommend getting it in 357 Magnum, but this is a tiny little revolver. Uh, you might consider using 38 Special plus P, uh, but again, I definitely recommend practicing in 38 Special. The Ruger LCR, Ruger did a fantastic job in the technology of this revolver to allow much less recoil than most revolvers of the same size. The Ruger LCR has always been one of my all-time favorite pocket revolvers out there. Number three, the Kimber K6S. Uh, Kimber K6S is the smallest frame six-shot 357 Magnum on the market. It's also one of the toughest. It took the industry by storm when it first came out a few years ago. I'm also a big fan. Uh, carrying one of these with the two inch barrels is, is really about as good as you're gonna get when it comes to concealed carrying a revolver. Number four, the North American Arms Revolver in 22 Magnum. Now you might kind of say, well, wait a second. Why are you putting a 22 Magnum revolver on this list? because it's so darn tiny. There are so many situations where you just simply can't carry a 357 Magnum revolver. And this thing is so small that if you, that you have no excuse not to carry a gun. It's about the size of your keychain. It, it, it's really just a tiny little revolver. You know, again, it's 22 Magnum, but 22 Magnum is, is a pretty decent self-defense round. It's definitely better than nothing. And if you're gonna carry a revolver, you, you have no excuse not to have this on you, regardless of what you are wearing or where you are at. Number five, the Smith & Wesson 642 Airweight in 38 Special Plus P. Now the Airweight is similar to the Ruger LCR. However, you definitely feel it a lot more than the LCR. It's an easier gun to carry because it's a little lighter, uh, but it's not, very fun to shoot so i'm going to give you the heads up on that but it's a fantastic defensive weapon it's it's a five shot 38 special plus p and extremely lightweight extremely small very very carryable love the 642 airway number six the colt king cobra now when the colt king cobra was reintroduced i mean come on it's a colt king cobra this thing is fantastic it is wildly successful um, it's definitely going to be one of your best options when it comes to concealed carrying a revolver. Number seven, the Chiapa Rhino 20DS. Now, Chiapa Rhino, I put it on this list for three reasons. Innovation, innovation, and innovation. Having that barrel lower down it allows you much less recoil, making it a much more operatable 357 Magnum. The Chiapa Rhino is a strange looking revolver, but I highly recommend it. Number eight, the EAA Vindicator. Now the EAA Vindicator is a revolver that I've been carrying for about a decade now. I love this revolver. I got one for my daughter when she moved off to college. It's a great six shot 357 Magnum revolver that's smaller than most six shot 357 Magnum revolvers, 
made in Germany, extremely affordable, which is why a lot of people will write it off their list. But I've been carrying it for a long time. I haven't found anything I like better. It's a fantastic 357 Magnum revolver. Number nine, the Ruger GP100. Some would argue this is one of Ruger's best guns ever made. The GP100 is a very, very carryable 357 Magnum. I'll also say make sure you get the smaller barrel as well as the smaller grip. It has a lot of different grip frames uh, for carrying reasons only. But the Ruger GP100, excellent, excellent choice. And finally, number 10, the Smith & Wesson Model 66 Combat Magnum. This is a tank of a revolver. It's, in my opinion, one of the best revolvers ever made. Uh, I recently did a video said, if I could only own one gun, what would it be? And I ultimately came down to the Smith & Wesson Model 66 Combat Magnum because it is tough, durable, and will last a lifetime. Very good revolver. So there you go. There's what I believe to be the top 10 best concealed carry revolvers on the market today. I'm sure there's a few I missed. Put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching this episode of God Family Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.